Breaking news, Nigerians. Governor Hope Zodima of Imo State has accused the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the state of sponsoring terror in the state and blackmailing him against the people of the state. Uzadima made the accusation on Tuesday in a statement issued by his special advisor on public communications callings. A few days to the November 11 governorship election in the state, said that the PDP was blackmailing him with the fake news that he blocked the release of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namde Kano. Collins, who Galali stated that having realized their looming defeat at the Saturday, November 11 governorship election in the Imo State, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, a party rejected by the people of Imo State since 2007, has resorted to some devilish propaganda in order to curry some unmerited flavors with masses of the state. We know that the disgruntled opposition party can do anything, including supporting or sponsoring terror in the state. But we thought the party still had some shame. But the recent desperation to blackmail Governor Hopu Zarema with the fake story and the governor is blocking the release of Mazin Namde Kano shows that the party is capable of doing any evil without scripts. In a fake story titled Uzodema blocking the release of Mazin Namde Kano, Tinubu and being circulated by the PDP, okay, in the fake story Uzodema blocking the release of Mazin Namde Kano, Tinubu and being circulated by the PDP and their agents. The party falsely accused the governor of blocking the release of Mazin Namde Kano. The story is false in its entirety. Not only did President Bola Tinubu not make the statement they forcefully credited to him, the governor never made any move to block Namde Kano's. Neither did he reach out to the president not to release Kano. There is no reason for such move whatsoever. On the contrary, Governor Hope Zadema is championing the re resolution of all the issues affecting Indigo in the country, particularly mobilizing Igbo leaders and stakeholders towards achieving the resolution of the issues, especially the release of Mazin Namdi Kano. Perhaps unknown to the sponsors and peddlers of the fake news, why he was a senator, Governor Hobo Zodema was among the few Igbo leaders, especially senators who used to take out their neck to ensure the release of Mazin Namde Kano in April 2017. Furthermore, Governor Hobo Zodema's life, both as a public servant and a private citizen, has centered around the God of the people, the good of the people. At no occasion has he shown himself to be against the people. He loves his Igbo brothers and has always advanced the, the cause of the Igbo people. Colin stated that it is important that Igbo people all over the world and Nigerians is, in general throw away this devilish propaganda from the real enemies of Igbo people who cannot lift a finger to develop Igbo, Igbo land when they had the opportunity to do so. According to him, as we get closer to the Saturday pool, it is imperative to alert our people that the disgruntled opposition will, will crush out more of such devilish propaganda against the governor, while we urge those who are interested in the governorship seat of the Imo state to, to subject themselves to the electorate on Saturday and not resort to devilish propaganda. We advise media houses to stop lending their platforms to misgrants of evil. Trust Nigerians, they have reacted. Then go to Abuja tomorrow and bring him out so that we believe you. Thanks. All this why you think you are God of Imo. Nothing lasts forever. Mr. Man, only Supreme Court will vote for you.
<laughs> we will not ignore them because you can do more than that. Hey, I'm watching from Biafra land. Supreme Court government go meet us on Saturday. Hey, this matter tough one. You people will be on the run soon. Those who are against Mazen Namdekanu's release. We knew vividly that you are one of the persons who asked federal government not to release him. The clock is ticking. You set Imo State ablaze. Have you forgotten? Supreme Court governor. Confused politicians led and campaign on issue base rather than sentiment on emotions. Supreme Court governor. Isha Allah. This Saturday we end up all this. It is only during the elections that our leaders believe behave like human beings to an extent. After the elections, they will turn to God. We will someday know the truth. This is the time for you to ignore this governorship of Imo State and follow Mazen Namdekano. It's hard time you guys stop playing a second fiddle to Nigerian government. Obi won the 2023 presidential election and they vehemently refused to give it to him. The best thing now is to allow these six regions or political zones, Ariwa, Borunu, uh, the Middle Bread, Odudua, Niger Delta, and Biafra to go to their separate ways. This is clear evidence that IPOP is the brainchild of the PDP for political gains in Southeast. If they want to kill your political career in Southeast, they will accuse you of being against Namde Kano. Bagam. Nigerians. That means the way it is now, Governor Hope Uzodema is in a tight corner. You don't they beg. Well, now the question is what effort have you made since this man? is in the custody because we know they hear you talk now the other way the other way now we they hear go yes say i pop go accuse you say you'll be one of those people who sponsored you know the mazin and the canons abduction and all that now the time has come what effort have you made for this man to be released what effort have you made for the killings in your in your region in your state to stop this is the time of reckoning so guys let's hear from you kindly share your thoughts below the comment section if you're just joining us do not forget to subscribe please kindly share this video let it go viral let nigerians understand what is going on in the nigerian political landscape thank you for always coming out here